Hello, this is Carol Springer from Gabriel Sales. And in this short video today, we're gonna to talk about the Pardot Recycle Bin. We will cover, here we go, how items get added to the recycle bin, how long they stay in the recycle bin, how the recycle bins in Salesforce and Pardot are different, and how do items get out of the recycle bin? Okay, so let's shoot over to Pardot here. And for example, um, well, first of all, there's two different ways you can get there. One, account engagement settings, and then we'll go into um, the recycle bin here. But first, I want to show you basically how something gets added to the recycle bin. So say this person has no engagement. Say I had emailed them 30 times, and it's just time to purge them. So I'll just hit delete. Are you sure? Yes. And this works the same, whether it's an automation rule, it's an email template, pretty much anything in the system can just be added to the recycle bin. The one exception is files. So files are the pictures, images that you have for landing pages or email templates. You do have like a hundred megabyte limit for most, some I've seen as high as 3,200 uh, megabyte limit. So um, to know that you go into your account engagement settings, understand your usage and limits um, to know when it's time to purge certain items. So file storage, this one, 100 megabytes. So once it gets around 90, you have to start purging and there's the purge from the system, 100% delete forever, where pretty much everything else, forms, landing pages, et cetera, when you delete them, they really just end up in the recycle bin and stay there forever until you manually purge them forever. So how you get there, go account engagement settings, and then you go to the recycle bin here on the left. And if you're in classic, you just go into the admin and then hit the recycle bin that way, okay? They work the same whether you're in classic or the account engagement lightning. Okie doke. So if I wanna take something out, say, oh, I put the wrong email template in there. I can go into my drafts and literally just hit undelete. And then same for prospects. Prospects are the ones that you're most likely going to put in the recycle bin and maybe take out. Okay. And how you do that is literally just go here, hit undelete. And are you sure? Then you say, okay, yes. And they'll just be added in the normal area. Okay. And if you it's time to permanently delete, there's not really a strong reason to do that, except to maybe keep your recycle bin somewhat organized, you literally would just click your buttons here and hit permanently delete, and then they're gone forever, okay? And how the Salesforce uh, recycle bin works is in Salesforce, if you delete something, it'll go into the recycle bin for about 14 days. Don't quote me that on it on that exactly, but it's roughly pretty quick in a couple of weeks. So if you did it, you're like, oh no, talk to your admin and pull something back out. But if it's been a while, it will be deleted. And then when you delete something from Salesforce, that will automatically delete that prospect in Pardot and it'll, they'll be added to the recycle bin in Pardot. Okay. And so that can happen either by a manual deletion in Salesforce or say that two files are merged. You have two leads or two contacts are um, the same in, in Salesforce. And so if you merge them, one of those, if they're in part out, will get deleted and be added to the recycle bin. Okay. And there are some ways to pull them out of the recycle bin. Like I said, you can manually do this, but what is unique about prospects is they will automatically be pulled out if all of a sudden now they become engaged. So say this person I had sent them 30 emails, never engaged. And then now tomorrow they click a link on one of those emails that it sent. That's gonna cookie them and pull them out of the recycle bin. And now they'll be in the normal prospect area. The other way that happens is if someone fills out a form. So say someone's been inactive for several years or maybe even just a year and you purge them, add them to the, the recycle bin. And then a few days later or next month or next year, I mean, they fill out a form, it'll pull and connect. As long as that cookie is still there, it will know that this person had was in the system before and now took an action. So we'll pull them out of the recycle bin and be added to the normal prospect area. So that is a very, very cool feature of the system. So the two ways, again, click an email template or someone fills out a form.
Okay. And that about covers it for today. Thank you for your time. And let me know if you have any other questions or any new topics you'd like to discuss. And I'd be happy to make a video on that. Have a great day.